Hey guys, it's Rachel Castile, and in this video, I want to talk to you about people's time is a gift. This is something God is showing me in like releasing the past that no matter um, what conversations I've had with people, no matter uh, what season of life somebody was in my life for, um, just not to have any expectations on relationships. Um, God has just shown me just the value of people. Um, and to live with no debts, no social debts on anybody. And um, yeah, this is really liberating my heart just to have a gratefulness for the time spent in each relationship and seeing the seasons where people were in my life. Um, there's times where I thought, hey, this is a forever uh, friendship, a forever relationship. And um, in a way, whether God does show you something prophetically about a friendship, a connection, a business partner, a partner, um, marriage is a covenant that is forever. But um, yeah, just living in such a way where there's no relational debts. Um, so ultimately, I'm talking about forgiveness um, and living grateful, live grateful for um, the time spent with each person. Time is something that we gift to each other. Um, that that's a choice of somebody to spend time with you and honor that time. Um, I just believe the more that we see the value of each person, um, we will bring the best out of each other. And whenever you can value somebody's time, you're also honoring their value. So um, that's an upgrade that God is showing me related to even, you know, my time and who I give my time to, um, like that matters. Every single person has their own destiny, their own appointments, their own flow. And, um, as I can honor my own flow, I can honor other people's flow and every intersection, every relationship is, um, it's a, it's a gift. It's a blessing. And to live open-handed like that, to to live grateful for that. And uh, in some ways we could have maybe expectations say on a sibling relationship, a parent relationship, a uncle and aunt, a grandparent. I feel like in those relationships, we can feel the most like owed in a way. It's like, you owe me this because you're my parent. Uh, you're my grandparent, you're my sibling, you're my cousin. Um, we were best friends uh, growing up and it's like, you owe me a debt or something like that. And God is healing me in all those areas, um, friendships that I'm like, God has showed me uh, something prophetic over it. And I'm like, okay, I can like then take a prophecy and then put on the person like you owe me something. And God's like checked me in that area that no, people don't owe me their time. Um, people choose from their heart and uh, trust is earned and everybody has their own process in relationships. Um, so yeah, God's just like showing me how I have been emotionally bogged down and it's related to my own expectations on people. And uh, for me to be grateful for the time spent is the liberty, that's the freedom that God has shown me that people's time is a gift. They gave me some of their time. I gift my time to other people. And also having good boundaries and honoring the flow of my life um, that in the time that I give, that it doesn't throw me off the flow of my whole life, of my destiny, of my purpose, of uh, who I am. Like the more I can honor my time, the more I can honor my value, the more I know how to spend my time. And there's that flow with every person. So um, I just, uh, I just hear like an upgrade on our value that God wants to show us our value and the value of others. And the more we honor people and thank them for their time, um, it calls them up to their own value. The more that I can see people as God sees them, they'll start to see themselves as God sees them through the frequency of what I carry on their behalf. Um, yeah, so I just bless you with that. Um, I got to run. I'm door dashing right now. I got an order coming in. But yeah, I pray this has been a blessing to you. And I'll see you on the next video.